Welcome. In this session, we would solve one of the very interesting questions from GS Paper Three, and this question talked about the difference between the computing methodology of India's GDP before 2015 and after 2015. Now, there had been a similar concept that we have studied in literacy, where the definition of literacy itself was changed. Now, to understand this question for GDP. Let's first understand what is GDP. GDP is the gross domestic product. That means the total output produced within the domestic boundaries of India. That means any worker working in India, if it is producing, would be counted under GDP. It won't be a foreign company counted in India. So that's the first thing. The second important thing is <clears throat> before two thousand fifteen and. After two thousand fifteen, what has been the major change? The major change, first of all, is the base year. Now, the base year was counted as two thousand four and five, two thousand four and two thousand five. Before two thousand fifteen, after two thousand fifteen, it is two thousand eleven and two thousand twelve, which is counted as the base year. Now, besides base year, it is the change in the database two prominent things that we must understand here so before 2015 the database was the index for industrial production after 2015 it is the mca 21 database which accounts for organized private sector as well now we would understand the pros and the cons of it first of all when we say india there is a largely unorganized a uh, sector that exists now to accommodate that unorganized sector there is a analysis which is done every 5 years and that gives us a good estimate of the proportion of people involved in unorganized sector and the output being produced from the unorganized sector now the mca 21 database is a database which includes the organized private sector as well so the iip database did not included uh, did not include the organized private sector after 2015 we have included the organized private sector so it would include all the companies uh, which are private along with the financial institution regulatory bodies which would be part of it and local institutions and local organizations not only this there is another important thing that we need to understand is as per the nsso report 36% of the companies Which were registered under the MCA twenty one. So MCA twenty one basically talks about the balance sheet of the company. Balance sheet of the company adjusted to inflation would be part of the MCA twenty one database. Now there was a survey by NSSO which revealed that thirty six percent of the companies which are part of the MCA twenty one database are shell companies. This shows. that despite the fact there was a huge number of uh, companies and their domestic product being registered as the part of the gdp but in real terms <clears throat> they are not contributing to the gdp because the company which is doing well would come up with a shell company and a complete picture would emerge which would be a very different company so actually this company is a shell company or a benami company now another important thing which is grossly a difference between 2015 and after 2015 is the calculation <clears throat> before 2015 it was at factor cost and after 2015 it is at market price so when i say factor cost it includes the cost of production the input the land labor capital market price includes the value so another important thing is before 2015 we were focusing on volume of production after 2015 we are focusing on the gross value added or the value of production so that's again <clears throat> an important difference that we must take into account now as i said uh, iip which is the index of industrial production was then updated to the annual survey of industries and this included only those companies which were registered under the factory act so i summarize the difference broadly 
before and after so first is the difference in the base year the second is the change in the database so the database was iip changed to mca 21 the third important is calculation at factor cost and at market price and then we also understand that what was included previously so when we talked about before 2015 we were talking about from farm produce uh, from agriculture as a proxy for calculating the agricultural income however the new methodology has focused on value addition in agriculture so again the amount of gdp has increased tremendously in the previous um, calculation before 2015 few mutual funds and stocks were included so only few mutual funds and non-banking financial companies were part of it after 2015 we have seen that all the stockholders uh, management funds pension funds stock exchange are all part of the uh, the ca computation after 2015 now on one side we say that the new method is a statistically more robust it can actually handle the ongoing changes at a very rapid rate because a lot of manipulations which a uh, lot of calculations which is done in the data can be handled because we are using a computerized portal and a computerized database to handle it so definitely the accounting the statistical process is much more robust but at the same time we need to understand that when we are including a comprehensive database it is actually hindering our population uh, statistics for GDP calculation the major reason for its hindrance is the fact that it does not take into account the intricacies in the production system so to take into account there are three things that we must be clear first is what is produced So what is produced is the first important question whenever we are talking about GDP, understanding and analyzing GDP, we need to understand how much is produced, whether it is produced at what pace. The second is the necessary statistics, is it available or not? The third important is the sophistication of the data. sophistication of the system which is used right so based on all the three things we can understand that when we are talking about before 2015 what was produced how much was produced was well calculated if we talk after 2015 the statistics and sophistication no doubt is surmounted however the most important problem is the active companies who have filed the statement once in last three years are part of the MCA 21 database but these companies are not trackable, not tra traceable because they have now been a shell company. So big companies siphon off their profit and when they extract out their profit that is to evade tax they would create a shell company and when these shell companies become part of the MCA database it shows a huge figure for the aggregate GDP production but in reality the figures are not that profound so we do have the pros and the cons that we need to understand when we are shifting the methodology most of the nations when we talk about calculating the GDP analysis we take factor cost as the basis a very important topic that we have discussed today all the details on gdp factor cost market price have been covered elaborately in our economics tutorials the link is available below wish you good luck